YouTube family! In this video, we're going to be showing you our top 5 things to do in Oregon. Number 1 on our list is Silver Falls State Park. This park is a beautiful park to hike and see waterfalls. To see all 10 waterfalls, you must hike a total of 7.2 miles, which we did and we highly recommend. You can even walk behind a few waterfalls. Just make sure you bring lots of water, sunscreen, and good shoes. You can even bring your own food and eat in front of or behind these giant waterfalls. If you want to view all the 10 waterfalls, you should expect to be here a couple of hours. There are a few parking lots around the park, so if you don't find parking at the main lot, you can always check the other lots. The best thing about parking is that it's only $5. Be sure to use the restrooms near the parking lot before you start because there aren't any ones here in the park. Hey guys, we're at the North Falls Waterfall. Also, if you're a fan of the Twilight series, you will love this park. It gives you all the Twilight vibes. I kept replaying all the scenes in my head as I walked through these trees.
second spot here in Portland, Voodoo Donuts. Either come early or expect the line because it's always open here. Here we check out these voodoo donuts. This particular voodoo donut location is in downtown Portland. However, if you live in LA, there is one huge famous one in Universal City Walk. Everybody highly recommends you try out the Voodoo Donuts. There's also another place called Blue Star Donuts, which is also highly recommended. So we decided to go to Voodoo, and these are the donuts that we ordered. We got three of them, and like their theme says, good things come in pink boxes. So let me show you guys what we ordered. You can get closer, sir. We got three donuts. This one is the Old Fashioned Chocolate Donut. This one is the powdered sugar cake donut. And this one is something like Marshall Mathers. Mathers. So we're gonna try them out. That one is Hubby's. These two are mine. Aha! Chef's kiss. Number four on our list as places to see in Oregon is Pitok Mansion. Pitok Mansion is a French Renaissance style chateau in Portland, Oregon. It is a 46 room estate and it is situated on 46 acres. Pitok Mansion has one of the best views in town. It overlooks Portland's skyline from 1,000 feet up. On a clear day, you can enjoy vistas of five Cascade Mountains, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams, Mount Rainey, and Mount Jefferson. This is Haystack Rock. Haystack Rock is a 235 feet sea stack in Cannon Beach, Oregon. It is very, very famous and it has come out in lots of lots of movies. Two of the most famous movies that I know are The Goonies and Twilight. You know that scene where they go to La Push Beach? Yep, that's right, it's actually Cannon Beach. the end of this video on the top five things to do in Oregon with the last one being super cool Multnomah Falls these are the beautiful Multnomah Falls located just about 30 minutes outside of Portland 
If you are lucky enough to find parking in the main lot, you'll need to walk less than 5 minutes and you'll be right in this spot. If you walk another 4 minutes walking up this trail right here, you will end up at the second viewpoint which is the bridge. If you continue following the trail upward, you will come up to the third viewing spot, which from here you can see the beautiful, gorgeous view of the Columbia River Gorge. And if you decide to continue walking and follow the trail to the end, it will lead you all the way to the top of the falls, literally where the falls start. So guys, if you like this video of the top 5 things to do in Oregon, don't forget to press like to my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you! And as an added bonus, here's number 6. Hi friends! So I'm going to show you guys something super cool, interesting about Portland, Oregon. And that is that we're going to the smallest park in the world. I'm gonna show you guys. We are walking to the smallest park in the world. This is it. Here is Mill Ends Park. Measuring only two feet across, Mill Ends Park was recognized by the Guinness World Record as the smallest park in the world in 1971. So we just came to the Dollar Tree um, because we were gonna buy a gallon of water. Let me show you guys. Here's the in the water for my hydration backpack because we are going hiking tomorrow. But I quickly wanted to hop on and show you guys something so cool about Oregon. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the state of Oregon doesn't charge you sales tax. So you could go to any store, buy anything you want, and you don't have to pay sales tax. Like for example, we bought the gallon of water and a couple, two other things. Each one was a dollar. So our total was three dollars. 
had we been in California, that probably would have been like four dollars and something. But here in Oregon, literally, guys, it came out to three dollars. Three dollars. General exemption. Literally no sales tax. What? Thanks for watching and join us on our next adventure.